Hi, and welcome to Steve's Car Flip. We've got eight cards this week, and my son has music on this channel. So, you know, thank you for your likes, subscribes, and comments, and this reading is for seven days after the time you see it, and it's a timeless reading, so any time you see it, it's applicable. Okay, I'm gonna try to do a quick crystal reading before I get started, so we'll see how this goes. If it works, I'll leave it in the video. So, your psychic senses are opening, all of them, so there may be something that's happening to you at the moment, so just go with that and there's nothing to be scared of. Um, there's a need to connect to your heart at the moment, um, there may be things that you may need to dig out that may be buried within you, so that may be something that you may want to look at. Um, it wants you to get emotional balance at the moment, it also wants you to have some fun in your life, you may have been locked up and you know may not be having much fun at the moment just get out and then start experiencing some joy in your life um there's more like third eye opening here um there's a need for courage to take courage in your life to stand up for yourself and back yourself so you can do what you want to do within yourself in your life so moving that out of the way and we'll get on to the reading i'll just put that aside and we'll get started. The first card is the Lotus Flower. Okay, just hold that up so you can see it. Okay, in Egyptian and Buddhist tradition, the Lotus Flower um, is a symbol of spiritual, personal, and evolutionary development. And um, the Lotus Flower is like an amazing healing flower, so that can aid, help to aid people in many ways. Um, also, that when the lotus flower opens when the sun shines so you know you may need to bring more sunshine into your life and it's also a card about um, addictions and facing addictions and things that you may need to look at that you, you may not be so happy to deal with but just you know to help benefit you so you can have more sunshine into your life um, it's just saying like all things in nature at the perfect moment that the flower opens so you know it's not forced it just happens naturally so that might be something that you might want to meditate on but I'm moving on to my next card and my next card is Anna Mundi I think that's how it's said so I'll just hold that up so you can see that okay so I had a lot of trouble with this card so I'm just going to interpret it my way um, this is all that is so basically this is in my understanding it is the creator and it's basically a world where everything's accepted and nothing is rejected it's just like accept all reject none so it's a world of like of god or whatever you imagine to be your god because it's so different with so many different people and religions and countries but um yeah so that, that's like a god card where everything's accepted and embraced and nothing's injected rejected like separation is not accepted because separation and division is not the understandings of what would be known as God so um, it wants you to shine your divine light because it says like you're a divine spark of creation so it wants you to go out and shine your light out into the world and obviously make your impact just to make the world a better place so I'm moving on to my next card my next card is Ray so I'll hold that up put my glasses on so I can read this one Okay, I have to read this. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Okay, so with Ray, he's saying that um, yoga enlarges and opens your chakras. So, um, sorry, enlarges and cleanses your chakras. So, and um, yoga can also quieten your mind, so you can hear the voice of, say, say your creator or the angels or whoever that you feel that you need to hear but it just gets you in that quiet space so you can hear the messages from the universe so and exercise is something that we need just for physical stamina and activity and just so we've got the energy so we can get the projects and things done that we want to do so um it's saying you may not feel that you have the energy but by doing like exercise or yoga that you'll be able to get more done in your day and you'll have more time to do it and they just take the steps from the guidance that you're given and trust your intuition and to move forward in that way. So moving on to my next card. My next card is 
Freya, so I hugged that up. I think it says cycles and phases, I haven't read it so yet, so. Yeah. Phases and cycles. There is a beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. Okay. So Freya wants you to know that like even though you you're at an ending at the moment, it's not the end. It wants you to tie up the loose ends at the moment and you can ask Freya for help if you need to move forward. Um, you're moving into a new beginning and this is the exciting time, so she just wants you to tie up the loose ends that you need to tie up in your life because there's something exciting coming to you in the new beginning and you know, as with ends re-ending, there's a new beginning. The cycles continue, it never seems to stop. One cycle moves to the next, to the next, to the next. Okay, so moving on to my next card, this is an angel card, it says don't hate, meditate. So I'll hold that up so you can see that, I'll read this. Thank you angels for guiding me to love through meditation. Okay, so this is a card that is basically just saying, it's pretty simple, it wants you to connect with your angels or God, and basically the word here is don't hate try meditation as a form of getting rid of these toxic emotions that will cause you a lot of damage and will cause you to be stuck in your life. The idea is to relax, to be in like your peaceful state so you can move past or even if you just get quiet and just, you know, breathe it out or let it go or however, you, you release these toxic emotions that are holding you back in your life and try to get rid of them so that they're not controlling you. So move on to my next card. My next card is the Kingfisher, so I'll hold that up so I can see that. It says, be patient and focus. It's got Archangel Bokfi, which I'm not sure if I said that right. Now I've never heard of that Archangel before, so that's a bit weird. But um, the idea here is being patient and focus. I want you to ask for what you want what you want for in your life because it's saying you know that it's going to try to get you what you want and you're going to be given steps to move forward at the right time and take the steps to jump on the opportunity so you can achieve what you want because something is coming for you but you have to be clear about what you want and it's asking you it would be better if you get asked what you want for a situation that would benefit everybody as opposed to just benefiting yourself so I'm moving on to my next card this is Surrender to Your Fear of Change. This is from the Power Surrender card, so I'll hold that up. So I can see that. Okay, I'll put my glasses on again. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you are afraid of changing your job, your health or relationship, or if your fear of aging, of death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Okay, so basically the universe is just letting you know that you are loved and whatever you are afraid of, it just wants you to say that you have faith and that all is well and basically by keep on saying that, you will eventually come to a place where you have trust and faith that all is well in your life and so you can relax and just enjoy yourself. Okay, I'm moving on to my last card. My last card is Surrender Peace inner peace. So I'm going to read this and I'll put this down. Cultivate inner peace on a daily basis. In quiet meditative moments, focus on the stillness within and enjoy the inner refuge. Other will f others will feel your good vibes too and life will flow more easily. Okay, so I'm just putting this down. Um, this card obviously is just about yeah, I'll have to hold this up, sorry. Yeah, to, to practice peace on a daily basis and in quiet moments, focus on the stillness within yourself and enjoy that. And by doing that, others will feel your vibe and just, you know, get you, basically. So that was my last card. This is Steve's card flip. Um, I hope you enjoyed this. And until next time, send you lots of love, and I will catch you later. Until next time. Okay, bye.